What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage, and today we're going to talk about how you can prevent getting your shit stolen, like your Mopar or your Dodge. And yeah, we're probably going to talk about some of the crazy shit that's been going on in the community and the people in our community stealing our cars. Crazy. <music> What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today we got to talk about it man. My social media has been blowing up the last day. If you saw the thumbnail, well, it is what it is. Now look man, I'm not going to name no names uh, in this video. I don't, I don't like to do that. And um, you know, I don't know all the facts about what's going on yet either. So but I think the thumbnail says enough. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on here. Now, around early October, I had somebody hit me up asking me about a video I did on the channel. Y'all see it, I'll put a link in the description on how easy that our Dodge Challengers, our Scat Packs, Hellcats, RTs, anything with a regular key fob could be stolen with a repeater device. That's not the only way that they're stolen. They're stolen by pulling the neutral strap. And we're going to talk about all the different methods and stuff today. But this one was weird because, you know, I didn't really... Let me just talk about my experience. Now, I'm not mentioning this person by name, but I think y'all know who I'm talking about. Look, I get hit up in my DMs. And I've never really had a lot of interaction with this person outside of, like, somebody goes live and you say, hey, what's up? Or whatever. <clears throat> but, oh, and I have receipts. So for someone to be like, oh, TK is just talking about this, it's clout chasing. No, I'm just keeping it a buck. And other people in the Mopar community already know this too because this was already talked about. So, anyways, this person hits me up uh, early October. All right? Like, I'm not even going to give you a specific date. Let's just say early October. And asks where one of these devices that I used to show how this works in that video could be purchased. And I was immediately like, huh? Why the fuck do you wanna know where you buy one of these devices? And I said, well, look, and she was like, well, I just wanna do a, I wanna do some testing. I wanna do, I wanna, you know, and I'm thinking, okay, this person's doing content. Maybe they wanna do a similar video like I did on how easy these cars can be stolen and methods that you could do to keep your vehicle from being stolen, right? That's a I'm thinking. Um, this is a successful person with a Hellcat, travels all over the country. You, you, you think, you know, like, cool, maybe someone's making content or trying to make the community better, like Destroyer 1320 or Real Wide Body Nation. Some people that have gone out here and been very uh, vocal about how easy these cars can be stolen and not just talked shit about it but actually did something about it to try to change that fact uh which like i said again link will be in the description for destroyer 1320s uh neutral strap blocks that's at least one method they won't be able to steal your car with um down in the description below um and before we talk further about this let me get a little bit further into this this isn't and and yes i have been contacted by law enforcement um the first time I was contacted by law enforcement, and we'll get back into the person that was stealing cars in our community here in a minute. First time I was contacted by law enforcement was by the, the Plano Police Department out in Texas. They had come across my videos on YouTube and wanted to know if they could use my videos for training purposes to try to keep more of uh, our Mopars uh, from being stolen. And of course I was like, hell yeah. I gave them exclusive, I gave them full rights to be able to use the videos to do whatever they wanted to do if it would help you or anybody else that drives one of these Mopars from coming out in your driveway or in your garage or at work and finding your car gone. It is the absolute worst motherfucking feeling you can ever feel to have somebody take some shit that you worked your ass off for. And let me also be clear about this. If any of, if this stuff is, it comes out to be true, 
about what was posted recently on social media, that person better never fucking contact me again. Because there's one thing I can't fucking stand, and that's thieves. Now, look, I'm not mad at, and let me keep it a buck too, right? I understand like the kids and other people that do this as a, as a hustle and they're snatching cars from dealerships in Detroit and breaking them down and selling them and shipping them overseas. Do I have, do I feel bad for Dodge or for dealerships that don't secure their shit and their shit gets stolen? Nope. I don't. That's where my ethics are a little different. I don't give a fuck. But when you go to somebody's house and somebody's put in all of this time and work and energy into this and it's their brand and it's what they do and you steal that shit, I don't co-sign that. Fuck y'all. That's that's some bullshit. Fuck that shit. That's not cool. Um, like I said, and I'm, I'm not the old man that's going to be wagging my finger. Man, you shouldn't do this. But if you get caught and your ass gets, don't fucking talk to me, man. Don't, I don't, you know, like that. That's some fucking real motherfucking bullshit. All right. So let's get back. You know, I wanted to talk about this because I know someone's going to be like, well, well, TK must have, TK must have been working with the police. Nah. Did I give exclusive rights to my videos? And am I actually, and let me talk about this. I'm actually creating a training session for law enforcement agencies to try to, for that they can then go out and educate other people so their shit don't get stolen. So yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> and you can be mad and say whatever you want in the comments. I don't give a fuck. But I think the the, the ability for people, the, the, the fact that people could just steal these cars like this is ridiculous. Now, I don't want to get into the specifics of this case. And I know you guys are going to go, because you guys are going to be like, oh, it's this person, it's this person. Look, again, I'm not going to say this person. I'm not saying anything by name all right i'm just keeping it a buck but i also got to keep it real you know um because when i got dm that i was literally buying a tesla today and i get someone dms me this article and i'm like first things i think is oh man this person fucked up on drugs or some shit you know what i'm saying and then i read the article and i'm like damn this person hit me up to try to get the plug on where to buy one of these devices or how this device works. Uh-uh. And I made it very clear in the communications that I had with this person when they were asking me where to buy these. They already knew where to get where to get them. They just didn't know how to program it or how to make it work. And the same thing I said in my comments and the same thing I said in my video. No, <laughs> I'm not telling you how these devices work. And no, I'm not going to help you program a device so that you can go steal somebody's shit. The videos that I made on how easy these Mopars are to be are easy to steal were made for one reason and one reason only. So that you, the person that owns a fucking Mopar, doesn't come out your driveway and you don't know how somebody stole it. You Now you know. I put the information out there to let you know. Your keys could be copied from inside your friggin' house. You know, we did another video where some where we showed where people can pull your neutral strap and push your car away. You'll never hear the damn thing start. We did another video showing where people can have any FCA or Chrysler key and bust your window or get into your car and reprogram a key within 30 seconds with no extra technology. But then what's right there with the car. All of these things are things that FCA could fix. But what FCA can't fix FCA can't fix you getting carjacked. FCA can't get can't fix you as a dude getting finessed by a female for some pussy. FCA cannot uh, fix said female maybe getting you stuck up and robbed for your shit. Unfortunately for those, for that kind of shit, that kind of shit is uh, only by life experience. And it's a sucky way to learn that life experience. But... It just is what it is, man. So, yeah, it sucks. Uh, and I wanted to address this part of it first because some people in the Mopar community, and they might be in the comments already, already know. Um, and because I had already talked to other people about it when I was like, why is this chick hitting me up about this? This is weird. You know what I'm saying? But then I was kind of like, okay, maybe they're going to do some content about it because let's keep it real. 
every video I've done on um, your Mopar getting stolen or how your Mopar is getting stolen has done numbers. Let's just facts, right? Hundreds of thousands of views on those videos. Um, and that just is what it is. And this video will probably end up doing the same because it's got a little bit of drama in it, but we're also going to talk about how to prevent your shit from getting stolen. So we're going to talk about some basic household things that you can do to keep your vehicle from getting stolen to beat these repeater boxes. And like I said, you can go to Destroyer1320 YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to tag him in this and there'll be a link in the description down below where you can buy one of these neutral strap blocks, which will keep people from pulling that neutral strap and rolling your car away. If you're a manual driver like me, well, you're fucked. I don't know what to tell you. Put a boot on your car. We'll talk about that kind of stuff too, but let's get into the key fob parts first because I think that's the one that anybody can do at home. And it, it, the, the solution is so simple. I mean, the, the best solution is to buy a Faraday box. We can talk about that right now. You can get one on Amazon. I'll, I'll throw a link to my Amazon store in the description down below. You can pick one up. A Faraday pouch, any of that, anything that blocks the RFID or radio signals coming in and out. Uh, if you throw your keys in there, nobody's copying nothing. It ain't happening. So um, that's one. I also recommend those when you go out and about because you have people that will literally, like let's say you're in a restaurant. Uh, some of the newer methods that car thieves use are they have a, what they call a, a catcher, right? And you could be sitting at a Denny's and, and dudes will just walk in and walk by you and it will pull that signal because they're walking by you with the key fob because it's constantly talking. It's constantly doing something, right? Not full, like when you press a button, but it's constantly searching and doing stuff, just like a cell phone, all right? And um, they once they have that signal, they'll literally walk in, walk out, program a key, <clears throat> gone. They got your shit. So I recommend keeping like a little Faraday pouch. I could tell you like when I'm wearing my BMW key on my neck for like the BMW, I actually have a separate pouch fit, made for the key fob and the key fob goes in it. When I want it to work, I just slide it out it pops out and it works. Um, and otherwise, no one's going to walk by and just copy my key and take my shit. So there's that method. But let me show you guys uh, hands on how you can block some of these keys uh, just with basic household stuff to keep your shit from getting stolen. All right, guys. So first things first, we have a FCA key right here. This comes out of uh, or comes from a Dodge Ram. Let me actually get it butt naked for you real quick so you can see that we're, because I know someone's going to be like, he didn't actually show the key fob, man. It might not be a Dodge key. All right, look, it doesn't matter. I could have showed you any key fob, but there it is. Ram, okay? Ram key fob on deck. It's here. Now, do these little things do anything to block the signal? Nah, they're little rubber joints. Is it going to impede you from doing what I'm about to show you right now to block the signal? No. And I know some people are going to say, well, it's, it's, no, it's not true. It doesn't work. I'm going to demonstrate this in full with the BMW when I do a how to keep your BMW from getting stolen video in, in the next day or so. But one of the best things that you have in your home is in your kitchen, which can protect your keys, which I know you're going to say, well, this is a pain in the ass. I don't want to wrap my keys up every single day. But this right here, tin foil. Literally take your key like this, wrap it up, wrap it up until you have, and you want to wrap it around like three or four times, right? You want a white, nice long strip. Now, yeah, it probably looks like you're cooking meth in the house or something, <laughs> and you got an extra key like for your hitch or something on here, but boom, the ability for this thing to broadcast back and forth more is way down. Does it completely block the signal? No, but it cuts it out by 80%. Let me show you what you can do to block out the rest of it. All right, guys, next, uh, pretty much normal kitchen stuff, right? Now you have like a little pot here. You can stick it in, in something like this, but most effective and cheap, you could probably pick one of these up at the dollar store. You know, like these little foil pans that you would put stuff in for like casseroles and stuff. They literally sit your keys down on a counter and that's it. And once you do that, you already have the tin foil, which is cutting out like more than 
let's say 85% of what the signal capability is. Now you also have your whole house that you're trying to go through, right? Once you put this over it, you know, throw a rag or something like whatever, there's no more radio signal coming up out of there that somebody, even with a big professional repeater outside, is going to get signal off that key fob. It's not happening. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, that's a massive pain in the ass. I don't want to do this every single time I come home. And I get that, and I respect that. But if you don't want to buy a Faraday box, you don't want to buy like these little box. It's a little box. It's like 20 bucks. They're made literally to do this shit. Then this is what you got to do. And the reason why I say that is, let me give you another story. I, we just got back from Memphis at Scary Fast. And somebody parked a Hellcat outside of the hotel parking because it was cheaper. It saved 12 bucks. Somebody stole the car. Was the 12 bucks worth your shit getting stolen? All your custom stuff you did, you'll never get it back. Your insurance company sure to fuck ain't gonna pay you for it. Was it worth the 12 bucks you saved in parking when you could have parked at insecure parking? Okay. Was wrapping your key up with the tin foil and putting it in a, in a tin pan or something on your counter and putting some towels on it cheaper than you losing your $70,000 truck or your $90,000 car? Let that shit sink in. Another method you can do to keep your vehicle from being stolen, like I said, is the neutral strap block. Now, a lot of people don't know that directly under your coin slot in your charger or challenger, if you pull that little piece of rubber up, you'll see a little red tag there. Uh, you literally can pull that up and it disengages your transmission and puts your car in neutral. And in case you didn't know, our steering columns don't lock in these Mopars, which means people can then grab the steering wheel, couple of buddies, and push your car down the road. And they can take their time to program a key at that point. And when you wake up in the morning, you didn't hear a damn thing. They just rolled your shit away. So buying one of these neutral strap blocks, which you can find over at Destroyer 1320, um, link again in the description down below. It's super cheap and it's again, would you rather now this is now let's also be honest. This is fucking Dodge's fault. Dodge is not putting any serious security measures in to stop our cars getting stolen. So this is a hundred percent on Dodge and Dodge can eat all the dicks for not for them constantly lying to the media and these automotive websites about we're going to change this. We're going to institute this fucking software update we're gonna do all of this shit to keep these cars from getting stolen you fucking lie you're not doing shit because even when they came out with their latest update the reason why they haven't here and here's behind the scenes t the reason why they haven't consistent consistently pushed out this update where you put your four digit pin in and it limits the horsepower of your car is because the people that are stealing cars in detroit already figure out how to get around that shit the same method that they use to program a Dodge Ram key to a, a Challenger Scat Pack or Hellcat that takes 30 seconds bypasses that bullshit update that Dodge is going to do anyway. That's why you can't go to the dealer and go get your update because it ain't worth shit. So that falls back on Dodge. But we can't, we, as us as individuals, we can't always count on the government and or a corporation to protect our ass. So we have to do it ourselves. So one of those neutral strap blocks on destroyer1320.com will save your ass. Making sure your keys are secure in your house in a Faraday box or a Faraday pouch. I'll put links to the Amazon store where you can go get that shit. And like I said, it's 20 bucks. Is 20 bucks worth you not losing your shit? I mean, yes or no? If you're willing to say, eh, I don't care, well then... When somebody steals your shit, don't go bitching on social media that somebody stole your shit when you didn't do the stuff that you could have did to protect your shit. Nobody, nobody wants to hear that shit, all right? Now, if you do these steps that I'm talking about, your shit gets stolen, I, I would actually feel bad for you at that point. That sucks. But let's talk about another method that you can do to protect your vehicle. They sell these cables. Now, they use them for trailers or bikes. They're big, thick steel cables with double ends on it with holes in it. And you can put a padlock through it or what I, there was like a round lock that you could put around it like you see at storage units and shit. Now you're gonna say, well, look, well how much is that? It's like 20 bucks, 30 bucks maybe with the lock and the cable. Now I had one for my fr one front tire and one rear tire before I bought my boot. When I would travel, right? And I took my Challenger off the trailer when I was in Vegas, New York, Chicago, Dallas, wherever I was, 
when I parked outside the hotel at night, you think I was, I don't care if it was raining or not. You think I was leaving my shit out there for someone to just, because I had a manual. They could just literally get in and put it in neutral and walk away. Hell no. I literally ran those cables through one wheel, right? And I would wrap it around the suspension. You ain't going nowhere, right? Could they damage my car? Of course. But you're not taking my shit anywhere, okay? One wheel in the front, one wheel in the back. You could do all four if you wanted until I got a boot. And then I put a boot on the rear and one on the front. It's just, it's not that these systems can't be defeated. Let me be honest with you. They can get by all of the shit that I'm telling you about today. It's about time. Car thieves care about just a couple of things. How fast can I steal this car? How easy can I steal this car? That's all I give a fuck about. And if somebody comes up to your car, I don't care if it's a red eye, wide body, brand new, crispy clean. They want it. They will want to steal it. But they're not going to want to sit in your driveway for 45 minutes to an hour to dismantle countermeasures that you have on your car to be able to steal it. Because you might come outside in that point or one of your neighbors might see it and their ass might get shot. So these are things that you can do that are very low cost, low budget, idiot proof that you can do to keep your car from getting stolen. Now, let's talk about the T. There's not much you can do about a female finessing you with some pussy for your car. Unfortunately, if you're a simp, and I'm not saying that the gentleman that got his shit stolen is that. I'm just saying, fellas, we all know them dudes that if a pretty chick is throwing some pussy at somebody, they will fall over themselves for the pussy. Let's let's keep it let's keep it a hundred. We're keeping it a hundred here, right? I'm not one of those dudes, okay? Um, and a lot of you guys ain't. But unfortunately, men, fellas, ladies, you too, because you, you you will fall over yourselves with some good dick and let's keep it 100. We know that that's true. But let's keep it 100 here. You got to have some street smarts. If you're in this Mopar game and you're driving a $100,000 Challenger and a chick that is nowhere in your dating level, like, you know, you got your average everyday chicks, chicks next door. You got like your your other car chicks and people we see in the car scene who are like very smashable, like, you know, right here, like could hit that level. Then, you, you know, you're up here at like Gab Union, Beyonce kind of level. And then you get up to the why the fuck is this broad talking to me level. And if you're at why the fuck is this broad talking to me level and they're trying to like, yo, let me let me let's go home. Da, 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 da. Yo, one, never bring some random uh, chick up here to the house, go straight to the hotel. That's, I'm sorry. And two, um, yeah, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to get specific about it, but all I can tell you is this, you got to have some damn street smarts if you're going to be in this car game. And that goes not just from my Mopar boys, man, and ladies that also deals with you Beamer boys, you Benz boys, you know, you guys running the GTRs and shit. You JDM boys. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. You got to have some common sense. And if you ain't got no street starts or no common sense, someone's going to take your shit. I can tell you that right now. So if you don't have any, wise up and get some. Or make sure you're surrounded by good people around you that will keep you from getting fucked over by leeches and scumbags in the community. Now, again, and I'm going to say this. Everybody is innocent until they're proven guilty. 100%. I believe in that. Okay. Everybody's innocent till proven guilty. But, and, and, and I'm also going to be honest. It's not like we don't know that the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department <laughs> doesn't just charge people with shit on GP because they don't want to go catch real crime. Right. Let's keep it 100 here. But the concern for me is if there's somebody in our community, in the car community, that is just being cool and, and being close with people and traveling around and, and getting to link up with, you know, these bigger name Instagram influencers, not even YouTubers, so to speak, in all of these different cities. And it's almost like she's just market or people just marking people up to be like, yeah, we can steal that. We can steal that. We can steal that. And I've heard all the little rumors and I've had people DMing me about it today about, well, maybe this person was involved in all of these car thefts 
you know, from the DMV down here to Carolina. I don't know, man. Y'all gonna have to let the police do their job and find out if that's actually the case. Um, if this person did do that, they're probably going to tell on themselves because from what I read in the report and the stuff that's, you know, published in the article online from the police report, that person told on themselves where the car that was stolen that they were driving was. So <laughs> I don't have a lot of faith in, uh, said person not telling on themselves, but, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about this today. And I know you're going to say like, TK, that thumbnail, everybody's in here for it. But I wanted to address it a little bit because I'm going to be honest with you, you know, and I think I'm going to use this kind of as like an alarm bell moving forward. You know, if you DM me asking me about countermeasures and how you could use a repeater box or whatever, and I don't know you, like if you're like, I don't really know you like that. Like you might follow me on Instagram, but I don't know you. I don't know you as a YouTube creator or something like that. I'm going to put your shit on blast. I'm just going to publish your DMs and I'm going to let the people in the Mopar or whatever community you fuck with know that you probably out here trying to steal their shit. Because like this shit today floored me. I was like, wow, are you fucking kidding me? Like seriously? Wow. And then when I was talking, I'm not going to talk about who I was talking to. I was talking to somebody else in the Mopar community that's here with me in North Carolina. And I was like, Yo, this chick literally hit me up about da 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 And he was like, no, no way. Yeah, man. See, the difference with me is if, you, if you're coming to me with some sketchy shit, please understand that I keep receipts because you're not going to get me fucked up on some bullshit. And I, I'm going to be honest with you. When I got contacted by this person, I was like, what is this? This chick is like, like the police trying to set somebody up for something or, or what? Oh, I just want to... Just want to make some content for my channel uh, that I'm that I'm getting going. I just I just want to experiment with some stuff, and I know they all operate on this signal and da da da. And I was just like, okay, well, cool. Well, it sounds like you already know what's going on, so um, you know, good luck with that. But warning: don't hit me up asking me about how to program your repeater box, or uh, do I know what the frequency number is, or any of that, because I will put your ass on blast to the whole community, and you can be mad, I don't give a fuck, but I am sick and tired of seeing my friends on Instagram and YouTube, you know, people like Real Wide Body Nation, um, and, and people like that, having their shit stolen because of scumbags that want to take something in two seconds or two minutes and steal it when they don't want to put the work in for one or two years to earn the money to just go buy it themselves. That's a scumbag move. And again, because I know a lot of these kids from Detroit are going to hit me up and be like, man, TK, fuck you, man. Look, again, I understand that there's crews and there's people that steal cars and they do all of that shit. And I have, and look, I have, I feel no sympathy for a dealership if you lose your cars because you're a dumbass and you already don't have a Faraday box or you don't protect your keys for your cars or you don't have security on your lot. If you lose your cars, that shit is on you. You should know better as a business. Um, but, and this is for my dudes and people in the car community that are hitting individual people stealing their cars. That's a scumbag move, man. Don't do that shit. People put the, these time and effort into these cars, you know, all this revenue years and time and time to get this. And then you're just going to come in and take it and put it on a shipping container and send it overseas. That's a bitch move, man. I'm just keeping it 100. That said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, it's something I wanted to address and talk about today. You know, the, the key fob thing is huge. It's a, something you can do at home. And like I said, the Faraday box is your best friend, man. Faraday box, Faraday pouch is your best friend to keep your car from getting stolen. I'm telling you. And then, you know, like I use cables and whatnot with my BMW. If I don't park it in the garage, I still put the cables through my wheels, man. I'm sorry. I just do it. I don't have a boot yet for mine, but I, did, I already ordered one. So it's just you, just, you just need to put up enough blocks to try to keep people from, fuck it, it's not worth it. And that's really what it's about. You just need to get the car thief to be able to like, fuck it, it's not worth it. If you can get them to that point, your shit's not going to get stolen. But if you leave it out there sitting pretty, easy for them to take, I've already demonstrated it to you multiple times in multiple videos. 
Somebody could walk away with your car in less than 30 seconds. Not even 60 like the movie says. 30 or less. I'll also, uh, if I when I get time, maybe after I publish the video, I'll link to the videos down below that I've already done on how easy these cars are to steal. And I've done more than just Mopars. I'm showing you guys with my Toyota, the Mazda, the Aspen, a, a bunch of cars. So with that said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I already know y'all going to be roasting in the comments over uh, that situation. And hey, you know, what can I say? I, I can't tell y'all what to say in the comments, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, man, y'all, I already know it, man. I can already see the comments now, man. I already know y'all going to be getting in it. Taker girl and all this other stuff. I already know, man. I know how y'all are, man. Y'all y'all are petty like me, but I, 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 you have to give me some credit here today. I reined in my pettiness because petty me would have just published the conversation. I ain't do that though. Um, we'll wait and see what happens. You know, I'm sure that this will probably get resolved fairly quickly. <laughs> I have, I have a sneaky suspicion this is going to get resolved fairly quickly, but, um, let's see what happens, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And, um, Share this video with everybody you know in the Mopar community if they don't want to get their shit stolen. And like I said, Destroyer 1320, tagged in the description down below. Neutral strap blocks. Um, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're cheap as fuck and you just don't want to go buy a Faraday box for your key fobs and shit for your house, tin foil, tin pan, put your keys in it. Shit is free. You know, you already got it in your house. And like I said, the other option, the other, other thing, I do all of these. But put those cables and whatnot through your wheels or get a boot for your car. And that's another countermeasure to keep people from stealing your shit. With that said, thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Let me know in the comments. Should I publish? <laughs> you know what? I'm not good. <laughs> yeah, I know y'all going to be like, you need to publish them shits. Maybe I'm going to drop them over on Instagram. Thank <laughs> you.